I think the one thing that Berman has really done for me has been that it's given me the space to really solidify who I am. Um, and I don't think I've ever really like, questioned or wondered or worried about my life goals or ambitions. Uh, I've pretty much wanted to do the same thing since I was 13, and, and that's just being in ministry and, and being uh, in a servant environment. But it has for sure given me the confidence that I've needed. It's given me a place of comfort to grow and to be real and authentic. Berman's allowed me to make mistakes, and it's allowed me to make long-lasting friendships. It's really allowed me the opportunity to grow into who I am um, and just nail that down. So that's what Berman has done for me. Hi, my name is Ralph Magsalen. I'm a fourth year religious studies major here at Berman University, originally from Vancouver, British Columbia, but I've made a home here in Lacombe, Alberta. So for the last three years, I have been primarily involved at the dormitories. I worked as a resident assistant there, and I've spent the last year working as the student dean. That's been my biggest passion. That's where my heart is. Um, it's where all of our students are, or the majority of our students. So I love being around them, being around that energy. It's felt like just one big family. This is actually a story I don't tell too many people, but when I would go back to Vancouver for breaks, I would catch myself as I'm talking to my friends, as I'm talking to family. I'm always saying like, you know, when I go back home or um, when, I, when I get back to, to Berman, it's more than just the school. Like it's more than just a, a place I come to for learning. This has really felt like home. I feel like I have roots here. I have family members here. I have a community here. Uh, I know that I could phone up there are probably three or four people I could phone up right now and just ask if I could stay in their home. And I know they would have a room for me, they would feed me, they would like have a towel for me to bathe. This is, this is home. And if that's, I think the biggest secret, the biggest thing I could, I wish everybody knew is just how much community there is here at Berman. Being at Berman has and I think this is for the better. I know some people might take this the wrong way, but it has really challenged what I believe in. Um, I used to think that everything I learned growing up was truth, that anything that deviated from that was a lie. Uh, and what I think has happened is that I've been able to take my spirituality, my Christianity, all my beliefs, and I've been able to make them my own, uh, which I think is so important because I, for sure feel like I can say this, I've grown up in an environment where you just accepted what was taught to you. You took everything that your elders and your pastors said and that was truth. And not that it's not truth, not that everything has radically changed, but I'm more grounded in what I believe in. Uh, I've challenged the things I believe in, why I believe in them, I've made them personal, and I can confidently say that what I believe in is what I believe in, and it has nothing to do with what I've heard in church. It has nothing to do about what any sermon has told me. It's because I believe it in my heart. So Berman has allowed me to really wrestle with my spirituality and I think I've come out better because of that. I'm not being paid to say this, I promise. <laughs> I, I love it here. I can't picture myself anywhere else. Um, I thought about coming back for another after degree because I honestly cannot picture life after this place. This, like I said, it's become home. It's become the place where I've laid down roots. My heart is here. My heart is with so many people here. The, the community, the environment. I, I love being here and, and yeah, I can say that I love Burma. The one thing that if I can take with me after leaving this place, uh, and if I have this, I, I know I'll be good. I, I just wanna keep trusting God. I felt like being here, I've had to do a lot of that. My first year, I found out that, you know, my mom had cancer. Um, I was at Berman when my grandma was put into a coma because of, uh, she had, I think, her third stroke that summer. I lost one, one of the closest people in my life to me just these past couple months, uh, and Dean Shannon. You know, coronavirus is still happening, it's, it's still real and prevalent and, and it's making 
our world seems so torn apart. And yet through it all, through this entire experience, the one thing that has been consistent in my life is God. Uh, in the moments when I have just had absolutely nothing and, and didn't know what to do, where to go, I feel like I've had to learn to do that here uh, above everything. Not saying that, you know, back home, I, I love my parents, but I feel like so much of my, my spirituality was tied to them and because of the great example they set. But being here, I've had to choose that for myself. I've had to choose to rely on him. I've had to choose to, to fight him, to be angry with him. But above all, I've had to choose to trust him. And it's led me to some incredible journeys, some really low lows, but some very high highs. And if I can take that one piece with me anywhere I go, it's the trust that I've learned to build with him here.